Welcome to this review from Alien Robot Monster. Today we're looking at RoboForce. Okay, here's my copy of the RoboForce Enemy Kit by Toyfinity. These RoboForce packs are being released in different colors and combinations of parts. So far, three kits have been released. Mmm, that no toy smell is strong with this one. Here we have a 53 part kit. Some of the pieces are already connected. The whole line is created with a modular design in mind, using swivel joint pegs to attach parts. The little joints are really tight and sturdy. Let's see if I can focus in on it for you here. Hmm, the camera isn't quite picking that up, is it? Mm -mm. Well anyway, the idea is that you get a bunch of these pieces, which can be used to build any number of things. An old marketing slogan really applies here. Its only limit is your own imagination. All character names and likenesses are directly inspired by the classic 80s toy line of the same title from Ideal. Toyfinity has actually pulled off something amazing, resurrecting a failed toy line to great success. It's a nice blend of old and new. Plenty of recognizable features from the old RoboForce can be seen in these parts and the updated buildable approach brings a lot of playability to the experience. Now of course I could just go ahead and assemble enemy with these pieces, but with the included parts it's also possible to make the Max and Hun Dread characters. I'd rather try and make something original for you here. Okay, like I said, these connections are really tight, and that's good. But with some of the smaller parts, it can be pretty tough to get enough leverage with just your fingers. It's going to take a little fighting and prying to get things apart. One of these smaller trouble pieces can be temporarily plugged into a bigger one to get a better grip. And of course, it never hurts to have a set of pliers handy. Now this is very durable PVC plastic, so I'm not too worried about leaving marks. Phew, all that just to get these legs looking the way I want them. Hopefully I've been able to give you an idea of what it's like to work with this toy. I think I'd better speed through this a little so you don't have to watch me struggle to create the other half of this thing. It can be a little challenging to get things to fit, but these guys are pretty hard to put down. Once you start seeing the possibilities, it takes on a kind of puzzle feel, like you're unlocking some hidden purpose in the pieces. Okay, so here's what I had in mind. It's looking kind of like Juggernaut. <laughs> Maybe more like Juggerbot. I like that. I'll build it in red later. One knock against RoboForce might be articulation. Personally, I don't have a problem with it, but it seems like around the toy world, some collectors want all action figures to have ball and sockets everywhere, double knee joints, etc. And I think that works great for toys that are only intended to be posed. But when it comes to buildable type figures, there's just something about those ball joints that makes everything turn out kind of spindly looking to me. Things built with Bionicles, Stick Fuzz, and Zevos, while definitely cool, all kind of look pretty much the same. Onel, the designer, has stayed the course with the swivel joints in every one of their releases. The joint system has become a standard in the toy world, first appearing in their own toy line, Glios. The connection is really stable, so it supports some chunkier parts, giving your creations, I think, an all-around more stable look and feel. Now another line, Power Lords by the Four Horsemen, are the first toys to have both Glios compatible swivel joints with ball and sockets. So it seems like ball joints are starting to make their way into the system somewhat through collaborators working with Onel. One more finishing touch here. Anyway, for posing these guys here, you can kind of get the angle you want by swiveling your bent couplings around. The colors and paint applications look pretty sweet, right? So here he is, Juggerbot, my little creation. Onel has done an excellent job with the concept and execution of these. It's kind of a hybrid, not quite as abstracted as Legos, but also not a completely finished, posable doll type figure. Whoa, a little top heavy maybe, but I like the feel. Overall, I really like these toys, and I can recommend them. If you're looking to pick up some RoboForce, 
do yourself a favor and keep an eye on Toyfinity. These kits sell out fast, within minutes usually. Until our next episode, thanks for tuning in to Alien Robot Monster.